everyone today we will discuss about compound light microscope parts of the compound light microscope it is divided in four systems they are one is support system second that is illumination system third that is magnification system and fourth that is adjustment system let us discuss one by one support system has following parts it has a base you can see here this is base it has a pillar, this is pillar, handle, body tube, this one, and stage, this one. Illumination system has light source, which is either internal or external. It also consists of condenser here, this one, and it has iris diaphragm. Magnification system consists of eyepiece. In monocular microscope, we have one eyepiece, whereas in binocular, two eyepieces are there. And it has objective lenses. Here you can see. Adjustment system consists of coarse and fine adjustment system. You can see here, this is coarse adjustment and this is fine adjustment. No. This is compound light microscope. Parts of compound light microscope, as we have discussed, support system, illumination system, magnification system and adjustment system. Support system consists of base. This is base. It supports microscope. It is horseshoe shaped, you can see here. And it has two limbs. It provides maximum stability. Another part of the support system is pillar. You can see here, these are pillars, these two. They project upwards from the base. This is base, these are two pillars. So these pillars, they project upward from the base and to the handle. This is handle. It is also known as arm. It supports the magnifying system. This is eyepiece and objectives, they are part of magnifying system and adjusting system. Handle is curved and microscope can be tilted at the heel joint when desired. You can see here. Next part of the support system is body tube. It is the part through which light passes to the eyepiece. Length of body tube is about 160 mm. Next part of the support system is stage. This is. It is the platform to accommodate either glass slide or nubus chamber which we are placing for examination of object. The stage has an aperture. You can see here this is an aperture. It is in the center of the stage through which converging cone of the light reaches to the object which is placed on the stage. There is spring mounted clip. You can see here this is the clip which is mounted and it is to hold the slide or the counting chamber. It has two screw for moving. You can see here. This is one screw which is important for the movement and this is another screw, this one. So these two screws, they help in the movement of the slide transversely and forward and backward. Next part of the supporting system that is nose piece. You can see here this is, it is attached to the lower end of the body tube and under it objective lenses of different magnifying power they are attached. You can see here. Next is illumination system which consists of light source, condenser and iris diaphragm. Light source is either external that is either we can use sunlight or light from the external either bulb or tube light or it may be internal source. 
the light rays from the external source they are reflected by mirror you can see here there is a mirror this mirror has two surfaces one is plane and other is concave you can see here there is a plane surface and concave surface plane mirror is used for oil immersion and concave mirror is used for high as well as low power next part of the illumination system is condenser you can see here there is a condenser below the stage condenser focuses rays of the light reflected from the mirror this rays they are reflected and a cone of light is formed onto the object placed on the stage position of the condenser you can see here position of the condenser can be changed you can see here by this screw you can change the position of condenser and position is to be changed to get maximum focus of the light and accurate resolving power of the microscope for low power objective lens when we are using low power objective lens condenser is placed at lowest level you can see here lowest one and when we are using high power here in objective condenser is placed at highest and for oil immersion condenser is raised fully next part of the illumination system that is iris diaphragm here in the condenser we have a diaphragm that regulates the amount of light which passes through the object it is located at the bottom of the condenser and it has central aperture which can be opened or closed according to light required you can see here we can open or close this diaphragm Next is magnification system. Two magnification systems are present in compound light microscope. One is eyepiece and second is objective. Here you can see this is eyepiece. It magnifies the image formed by the objective. Two eyepieces are available. It is either 5x or 10x. 5x that magnifies the image five times. and 10x magnifies the image 10 times in monocular microscope this is monocular single eyepiece is present whereas in binocular microscope two eyepieces are present now objective there are four objective lenses present on the revolving nose piece you can change this objectives according to the magnification required from which one is 5x another is 10x which is low power then high power that is 40 or 45x and oil immersion that is 100x now total magnification of microscope suppose magnification of eyepiece is 10x and magnification of objective is also 10x So total magnification would be 10 multiplied by 10 is equal to 100 times. Next is adjusting system. There are two adjustment screw. One is coarse adjustment screw or knob and this is fine adjustment knob. This coarse adjustment system you can see here consists of two coarse adjustment screws here. they are mounted on the top of the handle here and they are double sided micrometer mechanism so you can say that when you are rotating one screw the other screw gets rotated automatically so with the help of right or left hand you can change the magnification fine adjustment screw here also there are two fine adjustment screws and they are important for fine adjustment 
and usually they are mounted on the handle below the core's adjustment screw and they are also double sided micrometer mechanism. So this is all about different parts of compound light microscope. Thank you.